guys welcome back to world's illuminate 11 on this thursday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are looking to have a personal reading done for your twin flame journey or a one-on-one -on -one session all about regaining your power you can contact me via my email my website my details in the description box below and for this video we're going to bring in a pick a pile uh pick a pile to check in to see where your divine masculine is on their journey what they want you to know about where they are on their journey and then we're also bringing in messages from them so for where they are on their journey what they want you to know, we're bringing in the Divine Masculine Messages Tarot. And then for messages from them, we're bringing in three decks. My deck, the Divine Masculine Honesty and Realizations uh, by George Divine George Drew from Blue Eyes Tarot, Divine Masculine Messages to the Divine Feminine. And by Liz Harrison as well, the Divine Masculine Messages of Love. So we're going to see what they would like you to know today. And we've got three bracelets for the speaker pile. So for pile number one, we've got this a uh, beautiful brace bracelet here so that's for pile number one and then for pile number two we have this bracelet here so that's for pile number two and then for pile number three we also have this beautiful bracelet for pile number three so which of these bracelets is calling to you today one two or three okay so we're going to see thank you angels what message is that what is going on with the divine masculine for power number one what does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know for power number one okay and then thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculine what do they want the divine feminine to know for power number two what does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know for power number two anything else for power number two okay and then, thank you, angels. What does what does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know? What is going on with them for power number three? What is going on with the divine masculine? What do they want the divine feminine to know for power number three? Any other message for power number three? There's only one card for this one. Okay. Right, and then we're going to bring in uh, the messages to the Divine Feminine. So thank you, angels. For power number one, what messages does the Divine Masculine have for the Divine Feminine? Any other message from this deck? Okay. And then for power number two, thank you, angels. What messages does the Divine Masculine have for the Divine Feminine? Ooh, let's do that again. For power number two, thank you, angels. What messages does the Divine Masculine have for the divine feminine for pile number two what does the divine masculine have for what message is coming through okay the one and then thank you angels for power number three what message does the divine masculine have for the divine feminine for power number three okay these two right so that's that one and then we'll move on to the divine masculine messages of love thank you angels what messages does the divine masculine have for the divine feminine for power number one any other message okay one card for that one and then for power number two thank you angels what message of love does the divine masculine have for the divine feminine for power number two so there's three cards for that one and then Thank you, angels. What messages of love does the divine masculine have for the divine feminine? Straight out there. Okay, so, so that's for power number three. And then we'll finish off with my deck, the divine masculine honesty and, on, and realizations. For power number one, thank you, angels. What messages of honesty are coming through or realizations from the divine masculine? And then for power number two, thank you, angels. What messages of honesty and realization are coming through from the divine masculines? Okay, and finally, last but not least, for power number three, thank you, angels. Wow, straight out there. Okay, so we've got all our piles for today. Right, so we've got... There we go. And power one as well. There we go. So which of these powers is calling to you today? One, two or three. OK, so we'll start with power one and see what messages are coming through. So the messages that have come out from your divine masculine. So the first card that came out is the king of pentacles. And it says, I am focused on making this work. 
So your divine masculine is letting you know that they're focused on making this work. You know, they're working on themselves. They're getting grounded as well. They're working on their 3D world. They have a vision of the life that they truly desire to really be in that, you know, life where they have everything with you, their divine feminine, and they feel fulfilled in their own life. And they're saying to you, I am focused on making this work. So they're letting you know that they're doing what they need to do in their own life to make this work with you. That's what they're working towards. And the next card that came out as well from them is the Six of Wands. And they're saying to you, I'm becoming confident in myself because of our connection. So it's really powerful. They're focused on making this connection work. And they're also letting you know that right now they're becoming more confident because of this connection. So it's helping them to, this connection is actually helping them to really sort of focus on doing the things that they need to do and to become more confident as well, you know, in their own life and towards this love as well. So that's what they are letting you know. So their connection is really... Really helping them and they're also saying the hanged man has come out as well I need time to understand things from a fresh perspective to let go and heal the way I viewed things before so you know you're being shown here that there are some necessary delays that are happening with your divine masculine because so that they really get to the place where they release things that are still holding them are still holding them back you know they're still working on understanding things you know they are starting to become confident because of this connection they're focused on making it work because they know that this is the life that they truly would like to have with you but there's still some necessary delays that are happening for them to really get to that place where they really change their perspective they really see everything from a different perspective and you know and let go and heal the way that they saw things before so they're still going through some healing they're still going through some changes in their own life right now but that's why there are necessary delays but they're focused on making this work and they're becoming more confident as well as these changes are starting to happen within themselves as they're starting to see things in a different way to the way they used to think see things before you know they're starting to become more confident so if they are in the process of the changes happening in their life you know they're in the process of healing and you know of viewing things from a different perspective but there's already a change within themselves because they're saying to you i'm becoming more confident because of our connection and they are and there's also that necessary delays whilst they work things out because they were saying to you i'm focused on making it work you know so they're focused on that so during this time whilst they're focused on doing what they need to do in their life to make things move forward with you there is there are those necessary delays so those necessary delays are actually coming in to help them to get to where they truly would like to be but they're already in the process of doing this because they're already gaining the confidence they're already focused on making things work with you but as they get to that stage where they are ready you know that is why they are those necessary delays and the next card that came out is the nine of pentacles and it says i'm starting to enjoy life so you know they are getting out of that place of really sort of not enjoying their life and just really feeling down they're focused on making things work they're focused on nine of pentacles is all about self-love as well you know starting to enjoy their life and you know to understand that this connection is helping them to really grow in themselves and become more confident and move forward towards the life that they desire with you so they're starting to love themselves more they're starting to enjoy life more so that they can really make the changes they need to make in themselves to get to that life with you so you know they are making changes that's what they are really showing you here in, in within themselves there are changes that are happening as they're starting to love themselves as they're starting to enjoy their life you know that is actually bringing in you know that is them being focused on making this work with you so that's the message that they have for you today and then the other messages that they are saying to you from the card from the deck by by george so the first one is hear my message through music so they're saying to you during this time whilst there are necessary delays whilst i'm still working on myself you know hear my messages through music they're letting you know that they're sending you messages through music and they're also saying i love your eyes so they're letting you know that they love your eyes you know they think about you they think about your eyes they love looking into your eyes and they are letting you know this you may hear a song that is something to do with loving your eyes that will be your divine masculine letting you know this so really powerful that they are saying to you since there are necessary delays 
whilst they're still, you know, sort of getting there when it comes to themselves, you know, they're saying to you in the meantime, hear my messages through music and know that I love your eyes. Really beautiful. And the cards that came out from them, from the messages of love, they're saying to you, I hope we can start again. So, you know, this is why they're focused on making this work, this love with you, you know, by working on themselves. You know, they're hoping that you can start again. They're working on gaining more confidence. They're working on changing their perspective and their view of things and life and changing their own life completely so that they can be with you. So, you know, that's why they're necessary delay so that they can get to that point where they're able to actually start again with you. And they're saying to you, you know, I'm focused on making this work and I hope we can start again. So your divine masculine is wanting to start again with you. And this is what they're working towards. And they want you to know this today. And the cards that came out for you from, from them, from my deck, the divine masculine honesty and realizations, the first one is separation. And it says, hard as it may be for me to be apart from you, I am in fact healing and growing up during this time of separation. I trust that the same is happening for you too. Separation is in fact a blessing in disguise for us. So this is really powerful, you know, coming through from your divine masculine, especially with the necessary delays that are happening to help them to get to where they're truly meant to be so they can be with you. They're saying to you, you know, if it, they're finding it hard to not be with you, but they're saying that it is healing. It is a time of healing and growing up for them. So they're showing you that they are growing up in their healing, especially with the message that said, I'm becoming more confident because of our connection so you know they're showing you here that they are growing up and they're healing and they trust that the same is happening for you as well because you are the same and the same is happening for you you're growing up and healing and they're saying separation is in fact is in fact a blessing in disguise for us so they're realizing that it is actually a blessing because it is helping you both to grow and so that you can be ready to be with each other and the last card that came out from them is intentions and they're saying, I intend to make things right between us and to spend the rest of my life with you. What a beautiful message. Especially when they had this message saying to you, I hope we can start again. You know, that's them letting you know that this is their intention. That's what they're working towards so that they can start again with you. And they're saying to you, I intend to spend the rest of my life with you. And they intend to make things right with you. So they're hoping you can start again. So really beautiful messages coming through for you for pile number one. So really lovely messages from your divine masculine. And we'll move on to pile number two. So let's see what your divine masculine is saying for power number two. So the first card that came out is the Empress. And it says, I know who you are. Your nurturing power is guiding me home. So your divine masculine for power number two is letting you know that you are the Empress. You know, they know who you are. And you know, they are being guided home to you by your nurturing power so the more you are in your power standing in your power moving forward on your own path healing yourself you know loving yourself and you know really doing your life you are really shining your light bright for them to help them uh, to move forward towards you so they're saying to you i know who you are divine feminine and your nurturing power is guiding me home so really beautiful message coming through from them and they're also saying to you the nine of wands please don't give up on our love so you know they're saying to you your light is guiding me home please don't give up on our love you know no matter how long it's taking know that I, your light is guiding me home and i am coming so they're saying to you please don't give up on our love really beautiful and they're also saying to you the knight of wands i am making adjustments required to change my life so they're letting you know that they're doing what they need to do they're making the necessary adjustments that they need to make so that they can change their life so they can be with you that's why they're saying to you please don't give up on our love you know i am doing what i need to do changing what i need to change in my life so i can be with you so really powerful that they're saying that to you and the next card that the card there was only one card that came out from um 
for them in in this uh, card by a deck by by george and it says third eye chakra so really powerful that this has come out this is showing you that they're starting their third eye is opening up they're starting to see things from a different perspective you know they're starting to see the, the life and the world and themselves you know from a different perspective so they're really opening up to see things from a higher perspective and to really see that you know even the 3d world or the life that they've been living this is, is an illusion and what they truly desire is to have that life with you this is why they're saying to you i know who you are and you know they are moving forward towards you you're their empress you know so whatever situation they may be in they're seeing past this you know with their third eye that that chakra that is opening they're seeing past this and they want that life with you and that's what they're showing you here and then the cards that came out for them from um the divine messages uh, divine masculine messages of love so they're saying to you our love is eternal so they're saying to you divine feminine our love is eternal and you know and they're also saying nobody compares to you so they're saying to you nobody compares to you you are my empress i know who you are and our love is eternal which means we are truly meant to be so they are making the changes that they need to make in their own life so they can be with you and they're also saying i want you to be happy so they want you to be happy in your day-to-day -day life you know you are their empress they want to see you happy shining your light guiding them home as well but happy in your own life but they're also saying i want you to be happy with me you know that's why they're saying don't give up on our love i want you to be happy i'm doing what i need to do so i can make the required changes in my life so i can be with you and we can be happy together so they're saying to you i want you to be happy by yourself at the moment but also with me and i'm doing what i need to do so you can be happy because they want you to be happy so they are letting you know this and then the cards that came out from the my deck the divine masculine honesty and realizations the first one is release and they're saying to you i'm currently working on releasing my karmic entanglements and everything else that needs to be released from my life before i can be with you and this is really powerful, especially with the third eye chakra card that came out, which is the message that I was getting that they're starting to see that the 3D worlds that they're in with the coming, whether it's a relationship or a coming job, whatever the situation may be, they're starting to see that this is all an illusion. You know, their third eye is opening and they're realizing that they need to make the necessary adjustments in their own lives, release what needs to go, release those coming entanglements and everything else that needs to go before they can be with you so they are really opening their eyes and they are making the changes that they need to make so they can be with you and that's what they want you to know really really powerful and the second card that came out is heart and it says the last one in anyway for this pile i had put up barriers around my heart due to past painful experiences but i am now starting but i'm i am now healing and starting to open my heart to the special divine love that we share what a beautiful message coming through from your divine masculine they're letting you know that with things that have happened in their past maybe even with the karmic relationship that they've they've been in or you know whatever other things that have happened in you know in their life past painful experiences they'd put barriers around their heart you know but they are now healing that's what they're wanting you to know. They're healing, they're changing their life, making the required changes, and they're starting to open their heart. Uh, to this special divine love that they share with you so they know that this love is special you know this is why this is because their third eye is opening they're starting to see things from a different perspective and they know that this love is special so they are doing what they need to do as well so that they can be with you really beautiful messages and then for pile number three so the cards that came out from your Divine Masculine, there was only one card from this deck and it's the Ace of Swords. And they're saying to you, I am making decisions about our future. So your Divine Masculine is saying to you, Divine Feminine, right now I am making decisions about our future. For them, it's the future of you and them, our future, the two of you together. So they're letting you know that they're making decisions about your future. And the, ne the cards that came out from the Divine Masculine messages are from the Divine um, divine masculine message to the divine feminine they're saying to you i love your body so they're letting you know that they love your body 
they love the way you look and they're also saying i'm on mission so they're saying to you i'm on mission you know they may be on mission doing what they are doing as well in their own life you know whatever may be their own mission they may be working on that they are also saying i'm on mission to be with you my divine feminine i'm doing what i need to do because you know making the decisions that i need to make about our future i am on mission to be with you you know but they're letting you know that they know that they have a mission with you as well and they are on mission to have to be together with you to have to be able to do that mission that you have together so they're letting you know that they are on mission and then they're also saying to you um from messages of love i am transforming so you know they're also on that mission of transforming of becoming who they're truly meant to be that's it's all part of our mission to release the fears to release all that has held us back to be our true authentic selves and to really be who we are meant to be so they're saying to you i am transforming into who i am meant to be so i can be with you so they're letting you know that they're transforming and they're also saying my home is with you so they're letting you know that they they are making decisions about your future but together because they know that their home is with you so they want you to know this really really beautiful and the cards that came out from my deck um, three cards came out for this one so the first one is taking charge and it says I am taking charge of my life and walking away from habits things and people that I've outgrown and that no longer align with who I am becoming really really powerful especially when they had that card of I am transforming so they're letting you know that they are going through this transformation they are becoming who they're meant to be and you know and they're saying to you whatever else is in the way they're taking charge of their own life you know there was a card about I'm making decisions about our future and those decisions involve them taking charge of their own life you know, walking away from habits, things and people that they've outgrown and with, that they no longer align with, uh, that no longer align with who they're becoming. So they're really showing you here that they're doing what they need to do in their life so that they can be with you. And the next card that came out for them is best thing. And it says, you touch me and connect with me in ways that I never knew were possible on a soul level physically mentally emotionally and spiritually you are truly the best thing that has ever happened to me what a beautiful message coming through from your divine masculine you know they're letting you know that you touch them and you connect with them in ways that they never knew were possible on all levels you know on a soul level physically mentally emotionally spiritually that's why they're saying to you you are my home Oh, my home is with you and they're saying you are truly the best thing that has ever happened to me this is why they're making those decisions about your future and the last card that came out is true love and it says the way i feel about you the way i feel about you comes from deep within my heart and soul it can only be true love what a beautiful message so your divine masculine is saying to you you know i feel this deep love for you and it can only be true love that is why they're making those decisions about your future because you know they know that you're the one for them that's why they're transforming taking charge of their life walking away from what they need to walk away from because they know that they're true they you are their true love and they want to be with you and uh, you know so and live that life with you because they're saying that you know there's nothing else that would make them go through all this it can only be true love so what a beautiful um message what beautiful messages coming through for all three piles you know from your divine masculine i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light